But let's go over original sin again. The original sin was that what Adam did was that in everything that was personal experience, he wanted to have it embellished. He wanted to feel how he was doing it. He was enjoying it. And as a result of that, he could repeat in his mind the event that was taking place, and he could imagine it, and he could expand upon it using the creativity of the human mind. So this wasn't just for his sexual relations, but for everything that he did. Even his spiritual things were tainted because he wanted to feel how he was doing something, how it was part of him, as opposed to being part of the cause, that which was needed. And so, the correction for the original sin is not to be selfish, is to put yourself aside for the sake of God. But that's only part of it. You must put yourself aside for the sake of God and then bring God into your life. How do you do that? So the answer is, in short, by doing mitzvahs, by doing things in the physical world, you're actually changing your physical nature. By doing them because God told you to do them for the right motive. So that teaches you to do things for the right reason, not because you want to do them. Not because you want to feel good about doing them. It works, but that's not the main reason. The main reason shouldn't be to feel good. The main reason should be for the right reason. And because of that, the greatest mitzvah in the world is the giving of tzedakah. Sharing from your own money, from yourself. Motive is not as strong as action. The reason why action is more important than motive is because action changes the physical condition. And there isn't an action that changes your physical condition more than when you share your wealth, you share your time, you share your body, whatever you can do. You share your physical self for the sake of someone else. You're giving away part of yourself, part of the things that you could have used for yourself, for others. And that's the reason why Tzedakah is so